Hey, uh, this is Pokeball35, and welcome back to Mario Plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Uh, previously, we were taking on the Tower of Doom, and I pretty much showed off everything the Tower of Doom has to offer. Uh, I did not go back and do everything in the Tower of Doom. Uh, that'll probably still stay the way it is, uh, just because it involves, like, a bunch of grinding, trying to find the last things that I need in there. And you've seen all the floors, you've seen all the enemies, uh, the stuff in that. So... We're here now, uh, earlier today, as of me streaming this, uh, we had a brand new Nintendo Direct. One of the big things that happened was Pikmin 1 and 2 on Switch, which is incredible. And you should check out the video of me checking those out as well, uh, because I just streamed that relative to me. But the brand new Mario Plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope actual DLC is out because the Tower of Doom was for... Uh, season pass, expansion pass owners, uh, but the last Spark Hunter is now available. <laughs> uh, heroes, a new faraway planet needs your help. Will you defeat the last Spark Hunter? So this was teased in the game itself, uh, near the end of the game. Uh, there's a level where you have to fight, like, a dark version of Edge. Which sounds funny to say out loud, but there's a dark version of Edge. And there's a bunch of statues of all the different Spark Hunters throughout the game. Except for one of them that's, like, crumbled. Uh, and it's this DLC story, which is a, a brand new area. Uh, I don't know if I'll do everything in one stream here. Uh, but it's a whole brand new thing related to the story. Uh, it's in its own separate story mode. So I don't know if it's going to bring over all my progress from the actual Sparks of Hope, but I'm gonna hope so. That would be nice. I don't want to start all the way over again. This Tower of Doom made me start all the way over again, but, uh, the last Spark Hunter is here. We're gonna play through it, and it looks really good so far from the trailer that I've seen, so this is all streamed live at twitch.tv slash Pokemon 35. Link in the description. If you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do so, because I do have a lot to offer, including my full 100% playthrough of Sparks of Hope. Uh, and everything else I have up on my channel as well. Uh, the Melodic Gardens are a place of mystery and danger. You are, uh, advised to play the main game before starting. I've 100%ed the main game. So I'm starting. Uh, it's been a while since, so I forget where the camera is supposed to be. Uh, so I will move the camera to where I need it to move it, uh, when we actually get into gameplay. When we're in a battle. I know the Rayman DLC is probably going to start me over. That would make the most sense. But I was hoping this would, like, save my progress from the main story. So I'm hoping it does. Like, everyone's on the ship, so... <sighs> Genie, would you please find the open channel broadcast for the Melodic Gardens? Our flight path to Cursor's stronghold should take us close enough to hear the planet's biophonies, the songs of the natural world. So, I think this is supposed to be retconned in from that line. It's supposed to be placed into the story sometime after Pallet Prime, because Bowser's with us, and you get Bowser at Pallet Prime. I didn't see everyone else who was on the ship, but I saw Rabbit Rosalina, which is the second area, and Pallet Prime's the third area, I believe. So, they are the perfect bomb for our jangled nerves after our harrowing adventures on Barrendale Mesa. Okay, so this takes place after Barrendale Mesa. This takes place after Barrendale Mesa, but before going to Curse's stronghold. On a positive note, however, Barrendale Mesa did give us the opportunity to decisively defeat the last of the Spark Hunters. <laughs> Beepo, I have double and triple checked the signal. The melodic gardens have gone completely silent. But that's impossible! The entire planet is a living symphony! Uh, unless it's going through a minimalist phase. I believe I have found another explanation. A very recent outbreak of dark mess activity on the planet. Wow. <laughs> Genie, change course to the melodic gardens at once! Uh, we are going to Curse's Stronghold. We'll get there as soon as possible, Rabbit Rosalina, I promise. But if we don't save the Melodic Gardens first, we may be walking into the Lion's Den with a Viper at our heels. I was kind of wishing this would 
take place after Curse's defeat. So it'd be like, oh, there's like one rogue spark hunter that would just like went silent and there's just still darkness to clean up after Curse has been defeated. But no, this takes place before Curse is defeated. So, whatever. As long as I still get to have my go-to squad of, uh, Peach, Rabbit, Mario, and Bowser, I'll, I'll be fine. Meepo, the air density here on the Melodic Gardens has been drastically altered. Until it has been returned to normal, our ship will be unable to achieve the thrust necessary to escape its atmosphere. Hmm. Nothing will be normal here until we rid the Melodic Gardens of dark mess. Rest assured, it will be difficult. How difficult. Alright, so it's still the same thing. I played Sparks of Hope on average difficulty, and I I found the game still challenging on average. Not, like, entirely challenging, but it, it's the kind of difficulty that I want to play at, so... Of course this level of difficulty could change at any point during our mission, but that's nothing new for us, is it? <laughs> now let's hurry before we attract any unwanted attention. So do I ha do I keep my progress from the main game? Is what I want to know right now. Because everyone's here. But that's because the story's supposed to take place after Baron Del Mesa. All heroes and sparks available. You have unlocked the entire, uh, completement. I don't think that's a word. Com uh, completement of heroes and spark. Go to the team selection and choose among them. Perfect. Uh, you can browse through heroes and swap the sparks. I know how to play the video game. Uh, we want Rabbit Mario. Uh, I think it is carrying over my progress. This is definitely the sparks I had on Rabbit Mario. Uh, it's been a while. Yep, those are the sparks I had on Bowser. And those are the sparks I had on Peach. Perfect. Um, I believe I took something off of Peach. One of the summoners because the game was soft locking and crashing during the final boss fight. <laughs> uh, I believe that's since been patched out. Uh, but I want, uh, the other summoner. Uh, it's down here. Uh, yes, Scoper, I think, is what I want. Uh, get rid of you. Uh, also, I can upgrade these. Uh, apparently I can upgrade everything to level 5 now. Which is not something I could do before. I think level 4 was the max earlier. So that's good to know. Well, it's good to be playing more story content for Sparks of Hope. Uh, because when this game first came out, for anyone who ha might have this be their first experience with Sparks of Hope, for some reason, uh, when this game first came out, it was a little bit different from Kingdom Battle and I wasn't really feeling it, but then I ended up like really, really enjoying the game. I forget the voice I did for this character, but forget about uh, biophonies, the sweet sound of the in uh, the sweetest sound of the galaxy, saving money on high-end quality products. This isn't public yet, but we're having a one-day only going out of business sale. Everything must go. Uh, mind you, it's the Salesbot 99 Plus Tax Solutions LLC that's going out of business. Salesbot uh, 99 Plus 999 Plus Tax Distribution LLC has its grand opening sale tomorrow. A little trick of the trade for you. Don't forget to leave a good review. The Galactic Institute for uh, Marketplace Trust is really on my case lately. Uh, I'm out of, like, everything. Because I think I used it all during the final boss. Also, there's more lore and more skins to get. So, uh, I kind of have nothing. Unless it's starting me with nothing. I have nothing to sell. Maybe it just starts me with no items here. But, it'll be fine. Let's start playing some Sparks of Hope again. Shall we? I'm so used to uploading, like, really long videos with Tears of the Kingdom now. Last time we played Sparks of Hope, Tears of the Kingdom wasn't even out yet. Uh, so I don't know how long these videos for this are going to be, but we shall see. There's a reach area. Oh, new sparks. New sparks? Berserk. You're going to need to use the cannon to make it out of here, thankfully. 
Uh, you've got me to show you the ropes. I was not expecting new sparks. See the the button on uh, the ground plate. Uh, there are two of them. See that other one over there? Uh, the cannon launching you to a safe zone won't activate unless you press both buttons. Easy, huh? One more thing. Win this battle and I'll be free to join you. And what is that? Be on guard. If my analysis is correct, we will soon see a new and terrible foe hatch from those shell-like chrysalises. Once defeated, they will return to their egg state and emerge rejuvenated. Unless you dash them while they're in the egg. A dangerous enemy indeed. I strongly suggest having a closer look at them using the Tacticam. Will do. I'd like to play the game now. Oh, too easy. All right, Tacticam. Uh, Shockin' Golem finds the optimal position of the battlefield to inflict a shock-based arena attack. Uh, when the golem reaches zero HP, it will revert to an embryonic state that will be invincible to all but dashing or stomping. It will spawn back as a golem if not destroyed during this state. Okay. So, we need to go all the way to the left and to the right, which is a really far distance, to hit a button and then launch us back. That way we can take the center cannon to the safe zone. Uh, I don't know if I want to split everybody up. Uh, Rabbit Mario could honestly probably take care of himself. But then we need to launch up here. I can't even see up there. But... Uh, I forget how to play the game. Uh, we need to first get rid of this. Okay, so that deletes the enemy entirely. Uh, we're going to have Peach do what she does best, and that is shield everybody up. I probably should have also checked the skill tree in the menu. I'm going to hope that the skill tree is the same. If not, I haven't activated everything I need to, uh, which might be bad. I'm not sure. Uh, but everyone shield it up. I'm going to try and have Rabbit Mario go by himself. Because Rabbit Mario's busted. That's right, the camera needs to be over here. That way you can see everyone's HP. I remember now. And I guess... You'll have Peach and Bowser go together. Mm -hmm. yeah! uh, Bowser can stay over here and snipe that. Guy. Uh, we also want you to summon a Wildcat, Wildclaw. Uh, we, uh, Peach is still there. And you're fine. Good. This is why we got them here. Oh, we have other types of golems too. Great. Oh, this is gonna activate that, but I'm shielded. I'm apparently not shielded. I should have been shielded. I was still shielded before. You are ever so slightly out of my range, but that's why we got you. If it carried over what sparks I have, I feel like it should have carried over all my other perks. Okay, yeah, spark refresh. It did carry over my other perks. Also, my weapon skins aren't the same, so I have to fix my weapons. Okay. Uh, you need to summon a scoper. Actually, I think I had the oozer on somebody. I don't know where the oozer went. But this could also be fine. Uh, we need to get Bowser up and over. Uh, 
Let me get Peach up and over. Uh, Bowser can still dash into you. I want these two guys together. I should summon my Mech Koopas. And that's good. Alright, that's fine. That's what we wanted. Uh, we're just gonna blow that up. Play this one a little bit safer. Uh, Rabbit Mario moves up. You should be fine there. Uh, I kind of want to play the waiting game on this one, so I think we'll just have everyone stay. I'm surprised that hit Bowser. I'm surprised that also hit Bowser. Well, I can dash into you now, which means Peach can also dash. Uh, we want Bowser to jump off of Peach to do the earthquake. So just do that too. shield just in case. Right, so you're just gonna be like that. Actually, wait. Bowser can fix the situation. I think those are just there now. Uh, Rabbit Mario, where are you going? I got a whole party. Now, what do you do to me? I probably don't want to lure the golem. What's your movement? Okay. Let me walk here to get both of these guys out of the way, and then the golem can't get to me. Love to see it when he gets sparkly stuff. You're running away? Okay. The AI in this game's still broken. I'd love it if the AI in this game was still broken. That'd make me very happy. Uh, I'll just stand here and set up a barrier. And set up a counterattack. Uh, and then you two move on. So you are a lovely creature. I would like to not fight. Summon Wild Claw. And we will hopefully be fine. That does a lot of damage, but now you're gonna get punched. Uh, optimal. You just push me to where I need to go. I 
for putting those Michael Troopers down there. Alright, cool. Uh, now we can just... Don't get explanky that. Uh, let's each have barrier one more turn. Uh, let me... is what's up here. Uh, it's one golem. I kind of want both of you together. I'm just gonna leave Bowser down here. And then Peach can come up the next turn. Rabbit Mario can just skip everything there. And all of these guys are going to get terminated. Definitely still broken if this guy's just still chilling there. We're gonna see if I can big brain this. Perfect. We collect the button, and I can get directly into the cannon to get back. That's right, I can pick this up, I forgot. And then we can have Bowser try and get it as far back as he can. Uh, oh, Rabbit Mario can still move. Oh, well yeah, I'll do this too. And we've just got the other button over here, which is fine by me. I will just set up another barrier. We should have, like, one more turn. That's not going to matter. Uh, actual one more turn, because I can't get anywhere from here. I'm just going to run into you, because I think it's funny. Uh, and then I guess I will just set up a counterattack. get Peach out of here. Or I can just give Peach a barrier. And Bowser's on standby. Take it easy. Uh, you shouldn't be killing that. You're close, but it's not gonna. pushes the button. Which means the path should open for Bowser. Yes, I, I get it. You don't need to show that. And then we jump on this and we win. All according to plan.
I am the mastermind behind it all. Since we are close to the source, open your ears to the Biophony, the most emotionally uplifting eco music in the galaxy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Indubitably. I wouldn't have thought anything could completely silence the Melodic Gardens, even darkness. Beepo, I believe I understand. Melodic Gardens is out of balance due to the muzzling of its symphonic ecosystem. For example, the planet's air density has become much heavier, which is preventing our ship from launching. Given that all music is merely a determinant of the mathematical laws of harmonics, could we not simply reconstruct the planet's biophonies digitally to restore harmony to the melodic gardens? Gee, real music cannot be reduced to mere mathematics. Why, the two have as much in common as an octave to an octopus. Mm. Interesting that an octave is the distance between the first and eighth note of a major scale and an octopus has eight. Enough, Genie. Uh -huh. Skill prism obtained. Getting more skill prisms at least. I'll be able to actually get other upgrades I've never been able to get before uh, with these. Uh, such as, uh, Bowser is going to have more range. Uh, Peach, more damage, Rabid Mario, uh, critical hit chance. Also, weapon skins. I don't know why it resets the weapon skins. If it carries over all my other progress, why doesn't it carry over weapon skins? Uh, heroes. Yeah. Gleaming Dukes. Uh, we got the sassy Bowzooka from the Tower of Doom. And we used the Gleaming Boombrella for Peach. Also, there was pause menu lore now. And we have a new spark as well. Uh, so, memories. We're gonna have a bunch of new pause menu lore to read later. Uh, progression. Nothing. There's nine weapon skins here. Fourteen memories. We have one of five sparks. Uh, I should check out that new spark that we got. Will I use it? Who knows? Oh, it starts at level four, too. That's nice. Uh, Berserk. Hero deals 8% weapon damage and gains 8% damage resistance for enemy within range. Uh, increases hero's max HP by 30%. Uh, that could be really funny for Rabid Mario. I'm unsure if I want to use the new spark. Probably for content. I should. Give it up! Doot. <laughs> Shaking is so hard! Give it up! I didn't use many coins as I can get now. A replica of a violet crested swingback funk bird. The pecking sound they make is a grit your teeth thunderous bass line. I love it! I love it! This is reminding me of a game from my childhood. Okay, here we go. Overcome obstacles using Beepo powers. Thank God the game's reteaching me how to use them. I didn't remember how to use them because it's been so long. Shaking is so hard. Huh. I also should take a look at the map. Uh, we started over here. There's stuff over this way. There's probably going to be a sub area, which is this. Let's 
camera changing in weird ways. I like that little frog dude. Is it doing that trope of tadpoles or music notes because they're shaped like music notes? Just like Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, which is getting a freaking remaster. Which I'm so excited for. I need to get up there. Uh, I'm probably gonna want this on the opposite side. Climb down. I need to put a thing in there. Uh, I need to, I think, go back and hit the button again. We got brand new complicated puzzles. But I can't hit the button again because that's going to make it so that I'm stuck here. Except there's a secret ladder. Except the ladder is on the opposite side, so I have to climb back up, drop the ladder down, then do everything. I didn't see the secret ladder before. Climb up. Go back down. Let the ladder down. Climb down the ladder. Then switch this. Then, can I get this from here? No, I can't. I have to climb up. Then I have to climb down. And then we have to switch this over. So that way I can go and grab the donut sphere. Then we can place it down on this thing. Then we drop down. Switch the platform over. Then we climb up this ladder, then back down this ladder, and then up the slope, pick up the thing, and put it in place. Forgot how overly complicated some of the puzzles in Sparks of Hope could be. Oh, then we've got a funky egg. Which we then toss into the eye. Yeah. Progress. Oh. That's right. This is that. And it's reteaching me the game mechanics because I sure forgot them. It's been a while. Uh, and then we get a checkpoint. Music of a flag, teleport flag, very good. Uh, then where do I go from here? There's a ladder. I do like the vibe of this place. When when we fully fix everything here, it's going to sound really pretty. Huh? Hmm. Find a way out of the musical jungle. Give it up. Don't know what that's for. <laughs> Probably supposed to play things in a specific order. Uh, 
play things that make that shape, perhaps? Which, it's just... This. Give it up! Okay. Then... Something that it makes an X. Which would be the square. Okay, I see. Square and then this. I understand. Then that happens. Now what? Okay, now... Give it up. Do this. Then the square. And this. Is this like a fancy game of Simon? It sure is a fancy game of Simon. Give it up! And it shows the shape we haven't done, which is this one. Give it up. I feel like I solved that one on accident. I'm gonna go back a moment. Yeah, I knew I was missing something. There's a darkness puddle over here. I would say uh, a double... A double darkness... One. We have to use Edge and Bowser. Analysis reveals that this darkness puddle needs particularly formidable fighters to cleanse it, more so than usual, even. <laughs> Got it. Uh, and Bowser, let's send you in as well. It'll be good for you to get a little havoc out of your system. The warrior and the beast. Defeat all title golems. Uh, what I should do is manage team, or first go into Tacticam, title golems are weak to shock. Bowser's weapon, I think, induces shock. However, we can add some shock sparks to the mix here. Uh, so get... Uh, the shock dash, uh, and you, actually no, you have dash stuff, so you want shock dash, and then you already have a thing that does shock damage, but you're getting another one, so, whatever. Uh, let's have Bowser shoot this. Well, you were doing shock damage before, now you're not. Oh, can Ed shoot from here? No, not really. You can do that, though. I may as well just do the damage that I can. How fun. Oh, I didn't know these guys were gonna be over here. And they're all coming for me. I'm doing a lot of goddamn damage if they can chill out a little. Uh, this might not be the way I need to do this. Because everything is moving up right now. Bowser might suffer. Oh. <laughs> Let's 
to activate the shock dash. <laughs> Oh, that's right, because then these things... That's right. Want more? Because we have to dash into them. All <laughs> got! I think he respawns on the next turn. If I remember correctly. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate. Alright, we're definitely gonna have to restart this. I hate that you have to kill, you have to kill them and then dash into them in the same turn. Go on. <laughs> this is this is not happening. Later. You can still hit me from there. Okay. Uh, we need to make sure that we can get healing. We're doing this mission way too early. I've been on this for like 30 minutes. And it's obviously not what I'm supposed to be doing right now. So we will come back to this when we actually get healing later on. I wanted to try and take it out now. I could not take it out now. Sad. Well, it does say level 35, actually. What level am I? I don't even know how you check that. Thirty-one. Oh. Well, then we're not even supposed to be there anyway. We're supposed to level everybody up more. I forget what the overworld even looks like because we were in that level for so long. I don't even remember what I'm doing. Uh, we're crossing this from here. Oh, there was quite literally healing right here. A uh, super mushroom chest. Oh, this is a sweet. Honestly, I feel like I gave that level my, my best shot with what we had. And it's not what we need to do right now. So, we'll just continue the actual story. Going into whatever cave this is. We'll see if this is the only sub area. Typically, each level has had like one main sub area that's really big. Actually, I think some areas had two, so. This is the concert pond. I recognize it from the many pictures I've seen. It is, or was, the very heart of the planet. Beepal, I am detecting several rabid life forms within that dark mist puddle. Huh? That must be the Melodic Garden's award-winning musicians trapped inside! Hurry! Okay. We have a checkpoint flag for here. If we're already getting to like one of the puddle, like the big puddles, there was, there's two big puddles per area uh, in Sparks of Hope. So if this area is only this big, it's very small. Can't go over there until after we do this. Yeah, here we go, this one's level 31. Let's see how this one fares me. Missing musicians. What am I looking at there? Free the rabid musicians from their cages. What a new random game mechanic. And another new spark. Hmm? 
Uh, Vamp Mageddon. It's like one of the the meteors ones, but it's va vampire damage, and that's great. Uh, you're here to save those rabbits, right? You can free them by dashing into the switches next to the cages. But be aware, those creatures, uh, they can create small pools of poisonous darkness. I've never seen anything like it. They're like rabbit dudes covered in darkness. We've never seen that before either. Better use the tactic cam to find out more about this new foe. Please do. If you win this battle, I'll leave here with you. And after that, I'm Team Hero all the way. Hunky Donkey, what do you do? Uh, field Breaker. Controls areas of the battlefield by creating darkness ponds on the ground, which damage opponents who step in them, and they're resistant to every effect. Fantastic. At least I have my regular team back. Uh, Rabbit Mario is the one with multiple dashes I need. There we go, just take care of those. I might want to have everyone together. This is gonna take a uh, Peach, please shield everybody up. Well, at least I'll Bowser go this way and see what we can do. <laughs> Can't shoot those. Uh, Bowser will be protected. We're gonna shoot this guy from a distance. Uh, we've also got Wild Claw, which will take care of this guy. Okay. Said I wanted to keep everyone together, but too bad. I already regretted doing that. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. oh, I need to see this thing's movement. Ah, uh, so you can hit me from there. I will just have to settle for hitting the guy through the wall. Uh, I'm gonna have Peach go with Rabbit Mario. Uh, and then get you over the wall. See how that goes. Okay, so that's what you do. You just rain stuff down. However, you're standing on a spot that I need to be on. Oh God, I shield the rabbit Mario. We also have Peach too. I'm hoping that she can move. a little bit rude now. Oh, the Mario's down there, apparently. I should take care of this guy. Schnoice. Like where you are. I want you to be outside of Peach's range. There's a pipe back there that leads me around. I didn't see that pipe earlier. I need to see your movement. Bowser should theoretically be safe from here. Let's just do that to the boomers. 
Bowser's cover anything, so maybe Bowser's just screwed. Oh, this allows me entry in here. Kinda. Not how I want to do all of this, but you're going up here. You have a lob shot, so like I'm not safe from anywhere. I don't think. Okay, you're not safe from anywhere. I might honestly have to get Rabid Peach in here. Because I have very much no healing and everything sucks right now. And we have things spawning from portals now. should be able to do is get all these ones in the center. And uh, jump to this one. That's not gonna kill this, and that's gonna be so cool. Uh, never mind. I forgot I only had two dashes, so... Unless he crits you, it's not killing you. Great. He summoned another scope. Oh, standing in it immediately kills you. Got it. I didn't see that before. This is obviously not happening, but we got half of them. <laughs> Look, it obviously wants me to play characters with multiple dashes. For this scenario. Which I'm currently not doing. So... Alrighty. I think we might actually bring in Edge. What we're gonna need to do... Is I'm actually gonna need to change... They're making me change my team composition is, uh, I think Edge and Rabid Luigi have multiple dashes. But we're gonna grab Edge. And I'm gonna grab Rabid Peach. I'm gonna take a look at the sparks I have. <laughs> yeah, you have, a, a like, a revive. We will try this composition, which is unconventional for me. A uh, rabbit peach also has two dashes, so this could go. Better. I'm gonna let both of you use one. That way, when you move over to another spot, you'll be fine. 
Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna heal instantly so Rabbit Mario is boosted. I don't have the weapon skin on Rabbit Peach because everything sucks there. Uh, we might want to have everyone focus one side and move to the other. There. I mean, he's rabbit peach in a while. Rabbit Mario on this side. Can I punch you? Yes. So we're gonna dash this. And we're gonna punch you. And that's good for me. I just kinda in the open, but oh well. How come the Goombas aren't taking damage from that, huh? They're all Goombas. They should be taking damage from touching that. Take it easy. Oh, mama. Uh, we can do Rabbit Dong. Blowy Joey, everyone away. Okay. I think Rabbit Mario is gonna go in for this. He can go on the opposite side. Punch you to death? Yes, I can. So this should, in theory, I should be able to dash both of these and stand here to punch this guy to death. Uh, I'm now going to need to fortify myself because I am in a bad spot. But everything on this side is cleared now. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I do try to kill these. Too much of a problem much longer. Don't. It's fine, we're leaving this place. Uh, I can punch you to death from here, so Rabbit Mario's gonna stay behind a bit. One less of those to worry about. Uh, we get the heal. We have not a good source of mushrooms, it's good to get this. Yeah. Yeah. Have you go into Storm Blade? Here. We're gonna have you jump down. This way I can get over here. Get a little bit of damage from that, but that's fine. You can kind of go into a semi safe place. And shoot this guy over here. 
Now who you gonna go after, huh? Okay, you went after Rabbit Peach. I was actually not expecting you to go after Rabbit Peach, so that's lame. vault over this to get over there? Why is it telling me that I can get over there? I shouldn't be able to get down here, so I don't know why the game's telling me that I can, because I have to drop down off of that. None of this is an area that I can get to. Uh, we're going to lure the Goombas over here. going much better. So I can jump over the wall. I'll take damage here, but that's fine. And we can take this guy out. And we can dash into this one. And we can dash into this one, so all the ones in the center are gone, except for that, or these two back here. Uh, Rabbit Mario's just stuck there, Rabbit Peach is stuck there, so I guess... I mean, I can try and fight these guys from here, but there's really not much of a point. Uh, Rabbit Peach just needs to not take a lot of damage. Which she might, and that's gonna be unfortunate if she does. Uh, Edge might also take a lot of damage. Uh, please don't hit Rabbit Peach again, and we're fine. Alright, that's optimal. Don't hit Rabbit Peach again? Alright, we're fine. Rabbit Peach has her heal back. Rabbit Mario over here. Rabbit Mario can dash into these. Uh, we can punch this guy through here because that's just what Rabbit Mario can do. Far can I hit people from? I can hit you from here. I still have two dashes on edge. Sounds like a bad idea, but I'm gonna try and get her up here. Yes, this is putting Edge in a semi-bad spot. Oh well. Uh, if you go for Rabid Mario, you're gonna get counter attack. So I'm just gonna go for the counter attack stance, just in case. And we're just gonna hope for the best on this one. Does not. Take it easy. Oh, he does. Wait, that's counter attack. Bitch. All right, not a problem. Uh, bounce me away, and then no one else needs to shoot her right now, and just go after Edge. Go on. Perfect. 
Uh, you got bounced up here. Hmm, that's not gonna die in one hit. Uh, you need to wait one more turn for your stuff to come back. She can't touch that or she dies, I think. Uh, this could be bad. Let me actually activate the vamp dash, because she can't do anything else, so I'm just gonna have her get hacked. Take that. Hmpst. Uh, let's get Rabid Mario... ...into a spot. Hey! Here we go! Ah. Rabid Peach may, in fact, be in danger. This is like right here is like the only place she can go. So, oh well, if she dies, I guess. Kind of made our objective. We have three more of these. Those two there and the one up there. Honestly, hitting Rabbit Mario over the wall is perfect. Take it easy. Knocking Rabbit Mario down is not perfect. Okay. Then nobody attack Rabbit Peach and she can heal everybody. Right? Take it easy. Please? The Goombas are gonna hit Rabbit Mario, isn't aren't they? That's annoying. Am I gonna lose this? Am I really gonna lose this? I'm gonna lose this. Come back here. We need the healing. Healing vibes, literally. Uh, I need to get over there. And our pads do not intersect, which is quite unfortunate. Uh, Edge can knock this down. And then... She's going to need... To stand, actually, no, she can stand here. Perfect. Uh, then Rabbit Peach can jump over the wall, knock this down, and then did Edge get a jump? Then Edge can jump. This might be good. Edge can jump up here, go through the pipe. And it's right there. I think I'm good. Okay. Long level, one long level later, and we've made it out. God damn. The DLC levels are not fucking around. I just keep taking screenshots for possible thumbnails, because I don't know what the thumbnails are going to be, so. <laughs> Yay, we're safe. Though I could not be certain, I believe I detected someone spying on us after we landed. It was you, affirmative. I'm Allegra. Common sparks of hope dialogue. Only Beepo and Genie have full full sentences, and they just say one thing. Allegra, warden of the Melodic Gardens. Surely you can forgive my caution. No offense. After all, you do not appear to be the typical heroes now, do you? <laughs> I like it. Thank you very much. The dark shadow. We've had our share of visitors recently. 
one, a sour note, seen in shadow, shadow only, orchestrates, uh, orchestrates havoc here, get, get it? Orchestrates, like, orchestra, like, music. Harmony destroyed. It haunts the fallen stars, to whom we have, uh, we gave sanctuary, and throws our garden's melody into chaos. Ah. A spark hunter? Here? Not possible. We took care of them. All of them. Even so. I cannot say. Only that they put my dear musicians in danger and terrorize the fallen stars. Monster. And have driven my dearest friend into hiding, without whom we cannot perform our, uh, biophonies. Biophonies. And without our biophonies, the melodic gardens will fade into nothingness. A silent, uh, coda to the galaxy. I like her giant tuning fork. Farewell. Beyond this gate is a li is a little used passage that I hope, uh, that I hope shall see me, shall, shall see me find my friend unharmed. You may follow if you wish. Concert pod, new memory. The beauty of the Melodic Gardens Concert Pond is perhaps impossible to describe, even for those with the capacity to appreciate such extraordinary manifestation of the natural world. It is towering, it is transcendent, it is warm and glowing, and that it is even before the biophony begins. Biophony. The rabid musicians decorate themselves with mood shade to add to the splendor. I hope to see it again one day. Very good. So yeah, that is one of the two big darkness puddles, if I'm not mistaken. I think. Uh, Vamp Mageddon. Meteors rain down upon enemies, each dealing a bunch of damage. That's honestly really, really good. Also, we have plenty of... Uh stuff now, so we're gonna level all this stuff up. I thought I had leveled everything up to max, uh, but I at least want uh, this leveled up to max, and I guess Exosphere as well. Uh, but the Vampiric Meteor sounds really good. I don't know who I'd put that on. And we have a Skill Prism. I'll do that later. Uh, we have a bonus area over here. How does the bonus area work? That raises this up and down. Bonus music still played. Yeah. Alright, cool. We got the blue coin challenge here. No, it's too much. Melodic Garden. The Melodic Gardens is an entire planet of tropical forest uniquely evolved with a singular purpose in mind. The creation of biophonies, or echo symphonies. The collective sound created by living organisms within a biome. Even the rabbits here, normally prone to chaos and cacophony, have found a way to add to the harmony of their surroundings. There is nothing like it in all of the galaxy. The Lord. This is the greatest moment of my life. 